How's it going 3D printers? Andrew Singh here, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to make a low poly model using Mesh Mixer. This is a pretty straightforward process, and this video is really aimed at anybody who has little to no Mesh Mixer experience. So if you've never used the program before, this is a great video just to follow along and get the same results that I do before you go out and experiment on your own. We'll start here in the splash screen of Mesh Mixer, and you have a couple different options for how to start. You can either import a model of your own, or use one of the models built into Mesh Mixer. I'm going to select Import Bunny, and this way I'm using one of the built-in models. It has a good bit of detail, and it looks good as a low-poly mesh. The first thing to notice about this model is it's actually not a 3D printable watertight solid. Typically when you're 3D printing an object, you want a completely closed mesh, and here we have an open surface on the bottom. So the first thing we want to do is convert this into a solid body. And we can do that by getting a side view of the model, and going over to the toolbar and clicking select. And from here, we're just gonna draw a line, and you'll notice this is highlighted all the triangles along the bottom of the model. From here, we wanna create a mesh. So we wanna add a flat surface to the base of this model. So I'll select erase and fill, and the default is smooth MVC, which will create kind of a bulbous appearance, which we want to avoid. So we'll go to flat remeshed, and now we have a nice solid surface. So clicking accept and clear selection, now we have our 3D printable watertight mesh. So there's two different ways we can make a model low poly. We can either apply a decimation to a portion of the model or we can decimate the model as a whole. And when I say decimate, what I mean is reduce the overall number of faces, which simplifies the mesh. So we'll start by doing a decimation of the entire model. So under the select tool, click any part of the model and go to modify, select all. And now we have selected the entire model. So all polygons should be selected. From here, we go to edit and reduce. And you'll notice we have a slider bar here. We're gonna wanna make sure that we select shape preserving for reduce type, and that will allow us to keep the overall shape of the mesh. If I go down to 0%, this is the model as we imported it. As we start increasing it, you'll notice the number of triangles start decreasing, even though the mesh is keeping its overall shape. So I'm gonna adjust that, and what I like to do, instead of doing all of the mesh in one shot, I'll typically do a reduction and then go back and do another. So here we go, and we're looking at about 80 to 90% gets pretty low poly, so I'll select 88%. That seems like a pretty good place to stop. And now that we've decimated it, we'll go back and repeat that process. So I'm gonna do the same thing and continue moving that slider. So I think about 78% looks pretty good to me. We've managed to keep the overall shape of the model, but we've reduced the number of faces pretty substantially here. And accept. So now that our model's been decimated, if we scroll under it, you'll see that it is not totally flat. So we need to flatten this model before we can 3D print it. And we're gonna use a plane cut and scroll down until we have all of that bottom selected. And we can do that by looking here, and that looks about good to me. So making sure that we have remeshed fill selected, click accept, and now our model has a flat surface and is fully 3D printable. So that's it, now you've made a low poly 3D printed model of your own. So the other option and the other thing we can do is to decrease the poly count on only a portion of the model. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start over again. This is our original mesh. So from here, what we can do is select a portion of the model. So we'll do the same process we did before. We're gonna select the bottom portion of the model and create a flat surface. And now we're gonna do something a little bit different. Using the selection tool, we're going to draw a little bit of a line here on the bunny's head. So now we've only selected part of the model. Now from here, we go that same process, clicking edit and reduce, and then we can reduce the poly count on the head of the bunny. So I've selected 96%, and now you can see we've created a low poly portion of the model. So from here, you have a couple different options, but the easiest would be to export as an STL and then 3D print your object. I hope this was a helpful video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching and have fun printing.